हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर श्रुति माथुर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर श्री वेंकटेश्वरा कॉलेज दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन द ओवरव्यू ऑफ बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स इन एमएस एक्सेल डियर फ्रेंड्स एमएस एक्सेल व्हिच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एमएस ऑफिस इज अ वेरी यूजफुल स्प्रेडशीट एप्लीकेशन इट नॉट ओनली हेल्प्स अस टू ऑर्गेनाइज एंड सॉर्ट आवर डेटा इन अ टेबुलर फॉर्म but also enables us to present it graphically through charting tools excel has a number of built in functions to manipulate and analyze data this makes it a useful tool for everyone be it students and teachers wanting to calculate their average marks or researchers who wish to apply regression or office accounting staff or administrative staff wanting to create a payroll for its employees this software has something to offer to all of them in this session we are going to discuss how to start with excel workbook uh, what the excel workbook components are uh, we are going to organize our worksheets and learn how to work with cells creating a new workbook or opening an existing workbook and saving the same are uh, very similar they are similar to how we do the same in ms word all you need to do is uh, type the name of the application uh in the search box near the start menu and launch the application uh the document or the file which opens in ms excel is called as a workbook by default the workbook opens with the name book 1 which can be changed on saving the file uh for saving the file you need to go to file tab you need to click on save as and uh, the dialog box that you see in word is the same that comes here select the location select the name of the file say i want to save this in my d drive uh and the i want to name it basics click okay save and the file gets saved you can see the name has changed opening the file is also very same so again you just need to go to the file menu and select open uh command from here to save your file uh we are going to talk about understanding how an excel window looks like uh the window has many components which are similar to its word counterpart like uh, the title bar the ribbons uh containing uh, the groups of commands for the tabs uh, the horizontal and vertical scroll bars these we are not going to discuss we are going to focus on the new elements like the work area the name box and the formula bar uh let us just look at our uh, screen from this uh, book that i have um you can see the first major difference that you can see is the cursor it looks like a white plus sign uh you can also see over here that uh, the work area this is the work area it is looking like a big table consisting of various columns which are all labeled a b c d and after z you come to a a a b and so on and so forth uh it consists of rows which are numbered from 1 to n depending on the version of excel that you have you you your screen your excel sheet may have over 16000 columns and over 10 lakh rows uh now the rows and columns their intersection creates cells this is what a cell is you can see uh the cell that i have clicked on the cell that you click is called as the active cell the active cell uh or n is the cell where you can enter the data in excel now since there are so many cells in excel how do we identify each cell each cell is uniquely identified with the help of the cell address or cell reference or its name now the cell reference or the cell address of the cell is the column location followed by the row location so in this case you can see this cell is formed by b column and t row so it will be called as b10 you will also notice that this box over here is showing b10 which is the name of the cell so this box is called as the name box it lies below the ribbon to the left side and the name box shows the cell address of the current cell or the name of the current cell uh anywhere that i click say if i click here it is showing me b3 as the name and you will also notice that the contents of this cell are now visible in the bar which was to the right of the name box this bar is called as the formula bar formula bar shows the contents of the cell or the formula which you enter 
in the cell uh, so uh, and uh, the horizontal and vertical scroll bars that you see these are meant for seeing the large uh, you know screen uh, that you have so uh, let's take a quick recap of what uh, we have seen over here um we have seen that our spreadsheet has a title bar uh, a quick access toolbar it has um various tabs like file uh, insert home and so on and so forth many of the tabs are the same as word some like formula data these are different uh, from the earlier tabs it has various groups of commands on the ribbon it has a name box which shows the name of the active cell active cell is the cell which you have selected which you have clicked on uh, the right side of the name box is the formula bar which shows the contents of the cell or the formula in the cell the work area of the excel spreadsheet consists of various cells which are formed by the intersection of the column and rows um each cell address is nothing but the column num name followed by the row number uh so this is uh, what your excel spreadsheet uh, uh, looks like now the next thing that we are going to talk about is organizing our worksheets the question that comes is what is a worksheet i told you workbook is the file which is created in ms excel now what is worksheet the workbook consists of a number of worksheets it's just like your copy has various pages so the copy is the workbook and the various pages are the worksheets now um we will learn about how to insert new worksheets delete them rename them and move or copy them let's go back to our excel file and uh, here we can see that uh, by default there are only 3 sheets but you can change uh, the number of sheets add new sheets by clicking here on insert worksheet button as soon as you click a new worksheet is uh, inserted uh you will also see that we can change the name of these sheets for example i can change the name of this sheet uh, to say charts simply by double clicking on the tab uh, and pressing enter the name is changed or you can right click and use the right click menu the right click menu can also be used for uh, deleting a sheet and for moving and copying a sheet or inserting a new sheet to move or copy move means you just want to change the location or the sequence of the sheet uh, copy means you want to create a duplicate so if you click on this command uh, dialog box opens move or copy you can choose where you want to move or copy the selected sheet whether in the same book or somewhere else uh, it also allows you to choose exactly where this sheet will be shifted so uh, let's say i want to shift it uh, sheet 2 to the end and i want to create a copy i don't want to shift it i want to create a copy okay you can see that sheet 2 has been a duplicate has been created at the end so um, this is uh, about your uh, worksheets um now yes so going back uh, uh, the next thing that the last thing that we are going to talk about is how do we work with these cells now working involves selecting the cells or a range of cells entering data in them uh, we may be using data series filling data series or we may be sorting sorting and filtering this uh, data now uh, let's again go back to our uh, excel file and uh, do all of these things uh, let me uh, open a blank sheet to show you how to select a cell so to select a cell all you need to do is click on a cell that cell act becomes active it gets selected it is shown by a black border across the cell uh, you can select a range of cells by either using by using either shift with arrow keys or simply by dragging the uh, you know cell uh, dragging the cursor down uh, and holding your left mouse button that uh, allows you to uh select the range of cells a number of cells selected together is a range of cells uh this you can see is shaded with the first cell being white and highlighted by a black border uh the first cell is the active cell where any data that you enter will be entered uh you can also select non continuous ranges of cells by uh selecting the first range uh pressing and holding the control key and then selecting the second range and then leaving all the buttons 
So now this is non-continuous data that is selected. These can be used for copying or for formatting or for any other purpose. Uh, so after that, uh, let us talk about entering data. Entering data is very simple. All you need to do is click and start typing. So whatever you type, that gets copied, that gets entered. Uh, however, if you need to edit uh, the cell, you will have to double click on the cell else whatever you have typed will be overwritten. So if I click on the cell and type again, the old uh, text is overwritten. But if I double click it, then I can edit it. Uh, I can also enter data through the uh, formula bar. So I can enter something from the formula bar also. I can also delete the cells by just selecting on the cells and clicking on the delete key. I can copy the cells. Uh, by uh, simply uh, you know going on the copy uh, command or uh, there is one more way of doing it suppose I've written something press enter then again click on the cell and take your cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell see that the cursor has become a black plus sign when it becomes a black plus sign this becomes a uh, you know um, handle for copying just drag hold your uh, left mouse button and drag and you will find that the data gets copied this is how you can copy also now um, the next thing that we can talk about is filling data series suppose i want to enter uh, the uh, even numbers from 20 to 50, say 40 what i can do in this case is i can enter the first number in the series which i want to uh, use then i can again select this cell i will have to go to this fill command uh, under the editing group on the home tab and look at the uh, uh, you know uh, look at the uh, drop down list uh, fill series the series dialog box opens I want the series to be filled in column I want it to be a linear series if I want even numbers the step value is 2 fill in the stop value I want till 40 so click on ok you can see all the numbers from 20 to 40 even numbers have been filled in the cells. Uh, I can also alternatively do the same thing by typing the first two values of the series, selecting them, taking uh, my cursor to the bottom right corner of the selection range and dragging the uh, selection. This gives me again filling. Now the last thing that we are going to talk about is the sorting of data. Now to sort data, sometimes I may have collected data through the Google form say and it's a randomized data. So what I'll do is I will simply select uh, the range. Select the range which I want to sort. Then go to this sort and filter command. See this command in the editing uh, group, just select the drop down list. If you want to uh, sort everything on the first column, you can just simply use sort smallest to largest or largest to sort smallest. But suppose I want to organize this data based on the course and then according to the semester. So I'll go to custom sort and uh, uh, my data has a red header row. So I will check it. I will sort it by first the course and then I will add a level of semester to it, which I want in the descending order click on ok you can see that my data has gotten sorted i can also apply filter in case i only want to have uh, the data for a particular course or semester apply filter and now from the filter just select the option that you want you will be able to view similar thing for the semester also can be done say only semester six data i want to see only fourth semester data so click on ok only fourth is visible that is all we will be covering thank you so much